Oh, who say does that? Alongside Grant Hill and Clark and the NBA playoff pick. Has really come into focus, Clark. It's nice for the teams that already have their spots locked down. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's a huge benefit for those teams to be able to give guys a rest in the last few games. Very valuable. It makes a big difference going into the playoffs when you can be rested and ready. And the Cleveland starting five. C.J. McCollum is out there with Jalen Brown. Then it's Bismack Biombo. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Mobley in at the four. Give credit to the defense. They were right there on Brown. Ultimately, though, he's too smart and too confident near the hoop to have any effect. Now here's Jokic. The shot comes out. Ooh, good work defensively by Biombo. Brown looking around. Pass to Biombo. Now here's McCollum. The three. Jones grabs the board. First quarter of play, a minute in. Here's Jokic, and he hits it from nine feet. That jumper is cotton candy sweet. Jokic has terrific form. Gives every shot a good chance of going in. Now here's Brown. Six on the shot clock. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. McCullum's shot is off. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Ooh. Pass to Jokic. Outside Bain. Jokic with a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Bain. Back to Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. Quick reaction that time by Jokic. Very impressive. Good at rolling to the right spot after setting the screen and doing it quickly. Mobley, a screen on Bain. Brown passes to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. <laughs> B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and power. Jones against Van Vliet. Pass to Mobley. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And what you love about the Cavs, on most nights, they take really good shots, Brad. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean, I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, creating for themselves and their teammates. We throw good, Mobley. Grant, when teams come to play the Denver Nuggets, it's not just another regular game in a normal city. Yeah, I mean, the altitude of the mile-high city is an adjustment for many players, B.A. Even if some guys say it doesn't affect them, don't let them fool you. <laughs> it takes some getting used to. Trust me, I know. And both free throws good for Mobley. Here's Levine. Taking command on offense when they need it. Putting up 21 a game. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Brown against Bain. Outside, Brown. Mobley, a screen on Bain to the paint. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And a chance here to check out this season's top free throw shooters. That free throw misses, and the Nuggets making a change here. Lyles checked in. Good on the second one. And when you watch this Nuggets team, Clark, their chemistry on the court is obvious. Yeah, B.A., the pieces just fit, and fit quite nicely. Give a lot of credit to the front office, doing a good job drafting, and then finding the right veterans to complement who they already had. And so McCollum will bring it up for Cleveland. They're coming off that loss against Philadelphia. 
defensively, they weren't up to the task. Didn't play as a cohesive unit, and it really hurt them. And, you know, that's all about effort, and I'm sure their coach let them have it for the lack thereof. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Jones, the pass to Jokic. To halt the run. They get it again. And it's stolen by Van Vliet. Rebounded by Lyles. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. Levine against Brown. Pass to Lyles. Back to Jones. Let's it go from deep. Cavaliers with the rebound. Last time they met was in Cleveland. And last time against this team, they struggled with foul trouble. It led to an ugly loss. The foul trouble was a big chunk of it. I mean, it's hard to mount a comeback when all your key guys, your main players, are watching from the bench. Now here's Jones. Yet to see a basket. Pass to Jokic. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. Cleveland calls timeout. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. And a new group getting ready for the Cavaliers. Lenz checked in for Biombo. Williams comes in for Mobley. Magruder, he's checked in for Van Vliet. And it's Grimes in for Jalen Brown. Now here's McCollum. He's coming off a 13-point game against Philadelphia. Williams misses. Denver has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Jokic passes to Jones. Levine with it. And they double up Jokic. Pass to Lyles. Launches it. Can't get it to go. Making him 0 for 2. The Cavaliers leading. Here's Magruder. Grimes. The pass to Lynn. Here's Grimes. McCullum outside. There's the three. On target from range. Can't sleep on McCullum. Not even for a second. Because that's when he strikes. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Bain, the pass to Jones. Here's Levine for three. Nails it from three. <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at it. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's McCollum. Offensively, he's been a force. He's putting up around 19 points a game. Grimes' shot is off. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Outside Jones. Back to Jokic. Kicks it out to Bain. Fires the three. Lynn pulls it in. Cleveland has gone one of four from deep. McCullum against Jones. Here's Grimes. And a miss there on the triple. The Nuggets trail. Lyles, the pass to Jones. Outside Levine. McCullum against Jones. The three from Bain. Len pulls it in. Now here's McCullum. Outside Williams. That's good. And it's McCullum with the assist. And with his height, the defense unable to impact the shot on the closeout. And here are the Nuggets now. They trail by six. They come into this one following the loss to Minnesota. Yeah, for three quarters, they were the much better team. But when the lead started to slip away, they just lost their composure. And Jokic throws it down. And Jokic doesn't get up too often, but when he slams it down, it feels like he's trying to bring the basket with him. Timeout call, the Cavaliers.
A different look for Denver. Struess comes in for Levine. And it's DiVincenzo in for Jones. Green's checked in for the Cavs. Curry comes in for C.J. McCollum. Now here's Curry. He's coming off a 10-point game against Philadelphia. From the wing. And he nails the jumper. And you know what? Sometimes you just can't stop Seth Curry. This guy is a solid scorer and a crafty one-on-one -on -one player. And if you're looking for a knockdown shooter from distance, look no further than Seth Curry. Well, not many guys have hit over 40% from three for their careers. And Seth Curry is in that exclusive club. And as a huge bonus, he protects the basketball and doesn't turn it over. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. And Bain drops them both. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Pass to Lynn. Here's Grimes. There's a screen by Lynn. Beyond the arc. Grimes' shot is off. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Payne against Green. Payne, the pass to DiVincenzo. And here's Jokic outside. Payne, six attempts. He's made five. Talk about efficiency. Only one miss in his first six shots. He's definitely brought his A game. To the middle. Here's Lynn. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. A precision passer, Curry, also excellent at seeing his guys when they're open. Outside Bain. From behind the arc. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Lynn's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Grimes. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Now it's a five-point Cleveland lead. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. DiVincenzo, pass to Jokic. And here's Struess. Jokic in the post. Lens there. Outside Struess. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Such a savvy passer. Jokic is patient and gets quality openings for his teammates. Pass to Curry. Let's the three fly. Denver grabs the miss. Now DiVincenzo. He's covered by Curry. Down low. And he hits it to tie the game. Jokic has got 13 now. The night has been all joker all the time. He's been pouring it on here. And the Cavs shooting about 47% during this first quarter. DiVincenzo against Curry. Oh, they get a hand on it. And it's out of bounds to Cleveland. As we approach the playoffs, let's see how the East is looking. Taking a look at Cleveland. With the playoffs fast approaching, they are well positioned at second place in the conference. Right now for Cleveland, they've been terrific throughout the regular season, showing they may be just the team to beat in the postseason. You know, the way they've handled just about every challenge that's been thrown at them this year, I don't see how they couldn't be considered front runners for the title. Clock is at three. Puts up a deep three. Jalen Brown. That one's good. Seven points in the game. When JB is on from here, it really boosts his team. Levine against Van Vliet. And another basket for Denver. Great to see players still working the in-between areas. There wasn't much resistance defensively. McCollum passed to Mobley. Outside, Brown. Driving in. Oh, and a dunk by Brown. Brown with that amazing athleticism, putting on a show out there with jams like that. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam can. Now here's Levine. He had a 36-point outing in their last game against Minnesota. Yeah, what about his work on the glass? I mean, he was an all-around contributor to a winning effort. Levine with it. Guarded by Van Vliet. Fires the three. The Nuggets need to get one up. Lyles. Three-pointer. No good. The Cavaliers leading. Left side. Brown. Mobley outside. Out to McCollum. Jacks up a three. He drops it from range. McCollum's got six. 
That's a knockdown outside shooter. McCullum knows he has the green light to fire away from downtown anytime. And so it's Cleveland with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Their work from distance has been impressive, and it's put them in this lead right now. Back to the game. Good to have you with us on this Easter Sunday. We're ready for more of the NBA on 2K Sports. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Cavaliers. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And the other thing you notice is how determined they've been to get into the paint and get buckets around the rim. They've got Max Cruz. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Zach Levine. Then it's Trey Lyles. And it's Williams in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. Outside, Brown. Back to Biombo. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. And Biombo is highly effective down low. Knows where to post up in the paint. And it's Levine with the ball for the Nuggets. Six-point game. They'll face the Spurs at home after this one. That'll conclude their longest homestand of the season. Five games. Brown finds McCullum. Mobley on a screen. Back to Brown. Inside. And Mobley with the basket on the assist from Brown. And it's an eight-point Cavalier lead. On the wing, Levine. He's covered by Curry. Williams on the wing. Hauled in by Brown. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. There's a screen by Biombo. Pass to Brown. Jones, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Levine against Brown. There's a screen by Biombo. Brown downhill. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. The Nuggets have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Here's Levine for three. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got four rebounds now. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, Jalen Brown has shown steady development over his career. He said, quote, every year presents different challenges. I think that's the fun part about basketball, that it's not the same. you got to be flexible, you got to be durable, and you have to be able to grow with the game. Brian? Ali, he keeps getting better and better. Thanks for that. Good stuff. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. The 2K leaderboard shining a light on the league's best three-point shooting teams of late. Fifth, Cleveland. These guys have been spacing the floor, spreading out the defense, and getting the three-point shots they want as opposed to settling for bad ones. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Levine against Brown. Knocked loose. Oh! And a dunk by Brown! Brown taking on all challengers. This kind of fearless approach is what his teammates and coaches love seeing. Outside, Williams. Here's Lyles. And the three-pointer goes. And Grant players often looking to exaggerate contact. You like the new idea to call text for flopping? You know, B.A., it's even better than the fines they did in the past and posting it online. I mean, with the tech, now it's hurting you on the court. So if you ask me, it's long overdue. Desmond Bain, he's checked in for DiVincenzo. Lenz checked in for Cleveland. Fred Van Vliet comes in for Brown. 
Van Vliet scanning the floor. McCullough with a screen on Levine. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. And he misses again. Now 0 for 3. Denver has gone 1 of 2 from deep in the second quarter. Bain, the pass to Jones. Pass to Lyles. Here's Levine. Over Van Vliet. Shot by Levine, no good. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. Bain against McCullum. Outside Curry. Now Van Vliet. To the inside. Here's Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Levine against Van Vliet. To the middle. Six to shoot. And here's McCollum. He has six. Down low. Let's see some of the numbers here for Fred Van Vliet. Over his last 10 games, his three-point shooting has gotten a lot better. He looks very confident from deep. There's no doubt he's got the green light to shoot from his coaching staff. And he makes a first. So he hits one of two from the strike. And Levine has got the ball here for the Denver Nuggets. Down by 12. Pass to Williams. Here's Lyles. Guarded by Van Vliet. Lyles down low. He hits that one. Two for five now. Gets the defender to sell out on the pump fake. Then flips it in. Van Vliet with it. He's coming off a 13-point game against Philadelphia. And you know what? In that last game, he was also all over the place on defense, mucking up the passing lanes and getting all kinds of steals, too. Williams, a screen on Van Vliet. And a foul called on Evan Mobley. That's his first foul of the game. And for the most recent CBA, players now get to share in the league's licensing revenue, Clark. Yeah, you know, without superstar players, the league wouldn't make as much in licensing. I was glad to see the two sides come together on this issue. It's a delicate one, but I think they landed in a good spot. The Nuggets making a switch here. Jokic is checked in. Clock at six. Jokic the screen. Jones from outside. Len pulls it in. Len's got five rebounds in the game. Back to Brown. And it's Bain with the rebound. The Nuggets have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Jones, a pass to Lyles. Brown against Bain. Puts up a three. And another miss by Denver. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. McCullum looks around. Pass to Brown. Mobley a screen on Bain. Brown against Bain. Pulls up at the elbow. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And the Nuggets making a change here. DiVincenzo's checked in. Williams is checked in for the Cavs. Curry comes in for McCullum. a lot of credit for his growth as a shooter. That wasn't something he did when he first got to the league. He put in a lot of work. He shoots it well from the floor and line. Pass to Jokic. And rejected. Here's Brown. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Desmond Bain. Well, that was clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws.
throw good. Brown. And both free throws good for Brown. That's a great job getting to the line here. You know, he didn't have a single attempt in that first quarter because I thought he was tentative. Much more aggressive here in the second. Jones against Curry. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. Here's Cleveland. They're on a 16-7 run. Van Vliet against DiVincenzo. Williams with the screen. Here's Van Vliet. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Just an active score. Defenses know when Van Vliet is looking to capitalize, forcing them to compromise sometimes. Both free throws, good from Van Vliet. And the big X factor Van Vliet brings to the team is leadership. He's very talented at setting a good tone out on the floor and organizing his guys. Over to the wing. Jones, the pass to DiVincenzo. Shot clock at six. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Tenacious offense from DiVincenzo sticking with his selection to draw that foul. He misses the free throw. And the second free throw is good. Boy, the upside D Vincenzo has is obvious. I mean, now it's up to him to continue working on his game and keep getting better. Outside, Brown fires for three. Rebound by the Nuggets. Lyles has got rebound number five here tonight. Zane, the pass to Lyles. Drops him the three. Lyles has got eight points here in the quarter. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. Now Van Vliet. He's been contributing over 15 a game. Curry looking it over. Over Jones. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. And the Cavaliers lead by 13. Seth Curry very determined there, and I like it. Excels at recognizing when to take these types of shots. Jones from outside. The Cavaliers pull it in. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Dante DiVincenzo. And the defense is all over Van Vliet inside. But he sticks with it and wins a trip to the line for his efforts. Good from Van Vliet. And a new group getting ready for the Cavaliers. Biombo, he's checked in for Lynn. Devin Mobley comes in for Williams. Grimes, he's checked in for Curry. And it's McCollum in for Brown. Jones against Van Vliet. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Struess, he's checked in for the Nuggets. And a new group getting ready for the Cavaliers. Lenz checked in for Biombo. Williams comes in for Evan Mobley. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for C.J. McCollum. And it's Curry in for Fred Van Vliet. Struess against Brown. Can't hit that time. Struess with a defensive effort. Outside Jones. Oh! And a foul. 
foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. That's good from Jones. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. Johnson, he's checked in for Denver. Zach Levine comes in for Struess. Basket counts. Brown's got 18 points in the game. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from it. There's the screen by Johnson. Pass to Jokic. Up and over Biombo. And again, Denver no good. And so Curry will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Leading by 12. Here's Brown. Oh, Jokic with the block. Hey, give Jokic credit. He's worked hard on his body and his defensive game. Curry with it. Defended by Jones. And here's Brown for three. Jokic grabs the board. Jokic has got six rebounds here tonight. You know, we hear the term point forward a lot. Clark, is it fair to call Nikola Jokic a point center? I don't have any issues with the B.A. I mean, he facilitates as a big guy with the ball in his hands like a guard at times. So point center works, but he's more than that. He's your two-time MVP is what he is. Pass to Curry. Oh, he nails that one. Three for four now. How sweet is that little teardrop right there, whether it's Steph or Seth, which is the case this time. The Currys, they've got that shot on auto dial. Here's Jokic. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Biombo. Had he play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. The Cavaliers making a switch here. McCollum's checked in. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock him down from the line. Brown against Levine. Brown passes to Biombo. Outside, Brown unloads. Good. And that basket makes him 8 for 14 for the game. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. Jones against McCullum. Pass to Levine. Outside, Bain. 13 feet out. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Levine. Bain's got five points in the quarter. Levine brings a lot to this team. One of the elements he brings is his passing. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Brown, no good. Denver has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Jones against McCollum. Payne with a screen on McCollum. Pass to Jokic. Over Biombo. Boy, Biombo provides great energy and is a dogged defender who doesn't make anything easy. It's been all about Jalen Brown for Cleveland. He's been productive scoring the ball. He's got 20 points so far. We'll be right back with you shortly. We haven't seen any urgency in this team so far. That's why they find themselves losing at home. They need to come out with... And now as the season... And that'll do it for us. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Jalen Brown having a dominant impact in this game. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And on the floor for J.B. Bickerstaff as we get into the second half. They've got Bismack Biombo. Jalen Brown is out there with C.J. McCullough. Then it's Fred Van Vliet, and it's Mobley in at the power forward position. And here's the upcoming schedule for the Cleveland Cavaliers. On Tuesday, they'll go up against the Jazz in Utah. And then on Wednesday, they'll be playing against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. 
You hear this all the time, but a road trip is a great chance for a team to build chemistry on and off the court. Chemistry matters a lot in the NBA, and a trip like this can bring a team together. Brown, that's good. Brown is so creative at picking apart the defense with his ball handling. You gotta love how clever he is with the ball. McCollum against Jones. Up and over McCollum. It's rebounded by Biombo. When you're wide open like that, no need to fade away. Brown passes to McCollum. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got his fourth assist in this one. McCollum's gone three for five shooting from the floor. Outside Johnson. Pass to Jokic. Ooh, good work defensively by Biombo. McCollum with it. To the paint. Oh, Jokic with the block. Bain with it. Now guarded by Brown. Now Jokic. Biombo with a steal. On the break. Here's Brown. On the break. Jalen Brown. A nice start to the third. Three out of four and looking good doing it. Pass to Jokic. Inside. Here's Jones. It's blocked. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by McCollum. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. On defense, the Cavaliers. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. Well, an awful beginning to this half, guys. Missing their first four attempts. Back to Brown. Pass to Mobley. The ball's knocked loose. Outside, Brown. Just five on the clock. From 15 feet away. That one rolls around and rims out. And it's Payne with the ball for the Denver Nuggets. It's a 13-point game. Since the All-Star break, here are the best passing teams in the NBA. The Nuggets third. They're clearly on the same page offensively, and the chemistry has gotten better and better. The assist totals have been outstanding. That's good from Jones. Under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Van Vliet outside. Biombo high post. And here's Brown for three. Ooh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. It's on Desmond Bain. And Brown is a guy who is hunting contact. The defenders have to be more cautious around him when they're defending The last one's off. They'll settle for two. The Nuggets have gone 0 for 4. Not the way they want to start the second half. Pass to Levine. Jokic with it. And here's Levine. Five on the clock. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Biombo. Well, I love how crafty Jokic is. You know, he basically baits defenders into committing the foul once he gets deep position. And Jokic drops them both. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Here's Brown. 26 points for him. Ooh, Brown inside! Hey, he's more than just a shooter. Brown can give you so many things on the court. Really a versatile team player. Here's Levine for three. The Nuggets with another miss. Things have been bumpy coming into the second half now. Five straight misses. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Brown passes to Biombo. And 
and Biombo slams it home. The playmaking of Brown continuing to evolve. Nice dime there. Denver has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Jokic with a screen on Van Vliet. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe. And they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Lenz checked in for Biombo. That one falls, so he hits both of them. You know, what makes Jokic truly exceptional in my mind is the versatility. You know, he's a really good passer, and that to me is a tremendous distinction, not to mention how he scores and does the other stuff he does out there. Lynn passes to McCollum over Bain, and another basket for Cleveland. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Now a timeout called by Denver. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. And they've been very accurate from the free throw line. This is not a team you want to foul. And you brought up their number two assist ranking. Their attitude is that the offense has to involve everyone on the floor. The ball's always moving. No one standing around. What a marvelous athlete Levine is soaring off the ground with ease for the jam and looks so good floating in the air. Pass to Mobley. Six on the shot clock. Knocks it loose. And out of bounds. Denver will have it. Let's check in on the Western Conference standings as the race to the playoffs continues. Taking a look at Denver holding down the sixth spot right now in the middle of this conference. You've seen where the Nuggets are. They haven't been as dominant as we've come to expect from them. Do you think there's still going to be major players in the playoffs? Without a doubt, no matter what the seed is for this team, they're a team you don't want to face in the playoffs. Jones, sweet little floater. Jones has got four points in the quarter. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Pass to Mobley. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Now we have a moment to look at how the blocks have been stacking up over the past several months for Nikola Jokic. We're just not seeing the same tenacity from him on the defensive end lately. He hasn't been blocking as many shots over the last few months, and I think it's made him a little less intimidating under the hoop. Here's Jones. 11 points in the game. Pass to Jokic. Outside Levine. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Cleveland. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. There was a time when star players were traded for a few picks and some quality bets. Now a new paradigm, teams mortgaging their futures for a star and sending away their first-round picks for the better part of a decade. Brian, it's clear for teams going all-in, you have to push all of your chips in the middle. High stakes for sure, Allie. Thank you. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Brown against Levine. The three. Brown, no good. And you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide open look in space there. Jokic with a screen on Van Vliet. Jones with the ball. Guarded by Mobley. Good man. <laughs> the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. I mean, those swats. <laughs> they can get into your head, make you think twice about shooting it. So it's about more than just those block numbers. Well, let's make sure we don't overlook the steals they've been able to get now. Those four turnovers have helped them put points on the board and in their pocket. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Williams has checked in for Evan Mobley. Green comes in for Jalen Brown. Grimes, he's checked in for McCollum. And it's Curry in for Van Vliet. Pass to Jones. Now here's Jokic. Defense is right there. Oh, and there's 
the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Too big, too skilled. Jokic just methodically breaks you down. He's a very unique player. Lyles, he's checked in for the Nuggets. And Jokic drops them both. The Cavs have gotten 6 of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. To the inside. And that one is stuffed right through. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. The officials were right on top of that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. Cleveland calls timeout. They just committed too many fouls. While you don't want to give up easy looks, you also don't want to give away points. It's been a non-stop parade to the free throw line. Bain against Curry. Pass to Lynn. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. The Nuggets have gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. Bain, the pass to Jokic. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. The first one falls. And Jokic drops them both. The Cavaliers have gone 8 of 13 in the second half. Pass to Lynn. Outside Curry. The kick out to Williams. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got his fourth assist in this one. Bain against Curry. Now here's Jokic. He's guarded closely. That one doesn't drop. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. And the basket by Curry. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. No stopping Jokic in the paint. I'll tell you what, guys. There's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire. Yet, they still trail in this game. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First one falls for him. C.J. McCollum, he's checked in for the Cavs. Van Vliet comes in for Curry. Perfect from the line this time. And so it's Bain who brings up the ball for the Denver Nuggets. Trailing by 13. Pass to Jokic. Gets a very good look and converts. Jokic has got 32 points in the game. It's obvious he's taken it upon himself to try and keep them alive. Williams a screen on Levine. McCullum pass to Williams. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Struess, he's checked in for Denver. DiVincenzo comes in for Desmond Bain. Free throw drops for Williams. For Denver, they've gotten 5 of 12 shots to drop in the third. Jokic with a screen on Brown. Levine finds Jokic. Now here's Struess. Guarded by Van Vliet. Jokic with it. Biombo's there. Low block shot. And the Nuggets getting another bucket to fall. Rising to the challenge. He's given them everything he's got. DiVincenzo against Curry. Down low. And Williams punches it home. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Levine passes to Lyles. 
Now here's Jokic. Up and over the Umbo, and it's Jokic missing. Well, the Cavaliers shooting a terrific 58% from the floor. Van Vliet against Struess. The three is up. Rebounded by Lyles. Lyles has got a sixth rebound on the night. DiVincenzo, pass to Jokic. Outside for Levine. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Levine's got five points now in the quarter. Total confidence. Levine was ready to go. Struess against Van Vliet. There's 57 seconds left in the third. Struess with a defensive effort. He still hasn't been able to convert from the field. He's just struggling to find his shot. Jokic finds DiVincenzo. Back to Jokic. Pass to Struess. Clock at six. Here's DiVincenzo. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. And here's Brown for three. Downtown Jalen Brown. He's certainly been their go-to guy when it matters most. He's trying to close this one out. Levine against Brown. Levine surveys the D. Here's the teardrop. It's Levine with a nice finish down low. That's really good focus by Levine, making sure the concentration was there so the shot goes even as he's bumped. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers now holding a 12 point and let's hear what Coach had to say during the break. Stay positive. Don't get down. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Trey Lyles is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. Then it's Trey Jones. Then it's Desmond Bain. And it's Williams in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group on the floor for Denver. And no stranger to physical play. JB busting it up in there without fear. And he can't get the first one. And he's good on the second. So it's Denver now. It's a 13-point game. Jones, the pass to Bain. Let's go with a three. It's rebounded by Biombo. Biombo's got seven rebounds in the game. Van Vliet against DiVincenzo. And here's Brown for three. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. That's his third triple of the night. His second since halftime. McCullum against Jones. Pass to DiVincenzo. Kicks it out to Bain. Six to shoot. To the middle. Oh, deflected. And Williams punches it home. Ooh, putting on a show for the fans. Going up for the graceful reverse. Oh, that had a little extra sauce on it, Grant. A jaw-dropper emoji is what I look like right now. Incredible. Here's Brown. Deflected. Fast break. Here come the Nuggets. Here's Bain. Oh, a big finish with a one-handed jam. Good find that time by DiVincenzo. An unselfish player always looking to make the extra pass. McCullum against Jones. Pass to Williams. Bain against Brown. Williams with the screen. Bain, the pass to Williams. The shot no good. Ooh, good work defensively by Biombo. And here's McCollum, defended by Jones. And here's Brown for three. And it's Denver with a rebound. Trying to make up ground here. And with plenty of time left, you want to play with urgency, but not desperation. Jones finds Williams. Jones against McCullum. Jones, the pass to Williams. Brown with the steal. 
A clear look from McCollum. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you gotta knock it down. Williams with the screen. Here's Jones. Van Fleet with some nice D. Boy, he has to put that one away. A solid opportunity. Gone awry. McCullum outside. Mobley passes to Brown. They double-team Brown. Mobley with it. He's picked up by Jones. Clock at six. Mobley, a screen on Bain. McCullum, money from the wing. And the Cavaliers lead by 14. Yeah, defending the pick and roll. You have to stop the ball, especially when it's C.J. McCullum controlling it. Pulls up on the wing. That one's good from Bain on the assist from Jones. And here's McCullum. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the strike. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Johnson, he's checked in for Lyles. Lenz checked in for Cleveland. Grimes comes in for McCullum. Jones against Van Vliet. Johnson a screen on Van Vliet. Jones drives in. Johnson for three. Buries it from three. Johnson's got his first three points of the game. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. Brown finds Van Vliet. It's Brown on the wing, guarded by Bain. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. And it's out of bounds to Cleveland. For the Nuggets, Nikola Jokic is checked in for Williams, and it's Zach Levine in for Bain. And a new group getting ready for the Cavaliers. Biombo, he's checked in for Lynn. Williams comes in for Evan Mobley. Magruder, he's checked in for Brown. And it's Curry in for Van Vliet. Curry finds some space. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Wide, wide open, and still, surprisingly, he wasn't able to cash in. Jones, the pass to Johnson. And it's Denver with another. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Let's it fly. And the basket by Curry. And the Cavaliers lead by 11. The Nuggets have gone 5 of 8 from the field so far in the 4th. Outside Johnson. Pass to Jokic. Back to Johnson. Here's Levine. Now Jones. He's covered by Curry. Shot clock at five. Outside Johnson. And another three for Denver. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Here's Grimes. Pass to Williams. The three ball. Called in by DiVincenzo. Denver has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. And here's Jones. And Seth Curry is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, he was one step late that time. Lyles, he's checked in for Jones. Here's Lyles. Outside Johnson. This one for three. They get the rebound. Back to Lyles. From outside the arc. And it's good. Credit Levine with the assist. Levine's got three assists now in this one. For Cleveland, they've gone four for ten in the fourth. McGruder, the pass to Williams. Now here's Curry. Can't get it to drop. Good work defensively by DiVincenzo.
side for Levine. Marked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. And the Nuggets making a change here. Baines checked in. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Cleveland has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Shot from 12. And he gets the bucket. McCollum's got four points in the quarter. And oftentimes, you just assume McCollum's J is going in. He's this good of a shooter. It's incredible. Yep, that one's good. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Pass to Lynn. Back to McCollum. He shoots over DiVincenzo. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Now here's Levine. And D's right on it. Out to DiVincenzo. Shot clock at six. Johnson on the wing. Here's Jokic. And another basket for Denver. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, this hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. No coverage that time. McCollum's got 11 points here in the second half. His first three of the half. That gives him nine total points from beyond the arc so far. Now a timeout called by Denver. You know, he recognized his players were fatigued and needed to catch their breath. Those guys were cooked out there. Jones, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Mobley, he's checked in for Cleveland. Fred Van Vliet comes in for Magruder. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Denver's head coach was saying to the team. He was very upbeat and positive, saying to his guys, let's go, let's go. I want you guys to up the pace. Look to push the ball up the floor whenever you can. They cannot stop us in transition. Let's see how the team responds. Guys? Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Outside, Brown. the elbow and the jumper is good brown's got six points in the quarter brown has a nice shot repertoire clearly the mid-range doesn't give him much trouble now here's jones Jokic with a screen on mccullum jones the pass to Jokic. throw it down nicola oh my that's why we had those breakaway friends Dude, he risked pulling the whole thing down to the floor right there. Boy, that was a great dunk, and we've got a great game here. Back to Van Vliet. And he makes it on the layup. Well, Van Vliet likes to work up close and personal at the basket, always ready to take it inside. To the paint. Here's Levine. Len pulls it in. Len's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Van Vliet finds Brown. Now here's McCollum. He's covered by Levine. He's good. McCollum's got 19 points. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work, and it's paying off. Denver's gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. To the left wing. Shot left block. Jokic, no good. And Van Vliet has got the ball here for the Cavaliers. Outside, Brown. They double-team Brown. Out to the right wing. From deep, Mobley. Jokic grabs the board. Defense dodged the bullet that time. Total breakdown. Pass to Johnson. Rebound by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got four rebounds now. Assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got his ninth assist of the game now. Pass to Jokic. And the 10 footer finds the target. Jokic has got 40 points. Doing all he can so far, but they still find themselves trailing. McCullum, the pass to Brown.
Van Vliet outside. The three is up. Rebound by the Nuggets. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Hey, no good. So it's the Cavaliers now. They've got a nine-point lead. Van Vliet against Levine. Pass to McCullum. Now here's Brown. Van Vliet outside. Three-pointer. Knocks it down from distance. And the Cavaliers lead by 12. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. Well, I love the way he goes after it there. I mean, and you've got to respect that. He's rewarded for his efforts of pursuing the ball. And here's Brown. And so Cleveland takes this one by a big margin. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Grant.